once again welcome back to the channel guys this is trust farm channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for please hit that subscribe button and guys don't forget to bang the notification bell because guys the moment you bang the notification bell it means that the moment we upload you will be able to get everything so dear viewers have have brought you good news people who have been asking themselves that what could have you know happened to Isaac's life what happened should we say that the farm collapsed I'm here to tell you that the farm is still going on, everything is going on, and uh, I have good life. But guys, I must say that I have been fighting with my books, and I'm done with my books. As I told you that I'm a student, I have been reading, but guys, now I'm done with books. So, dear viewers, still I must apologize, you know, I have spent a lot of months, I can say months, without uploading some videos. But guys, you have loved me. Uh, you have kept on sharing the videos, commenting, you know, you have shared the person of farming. So, dear viewers, we are here now every after three, four days, you will be able to get a video. So, dear viewers, in today's video, I just want us to ask ourselves why uh, sick animals usually die. So, guys, it is something abnormal. We say that even when a pig is sick, it is not supposed to die. So, but why is it that many farmers have lost their pigs, you know, when they are sick? Why is it like that? Dear viewers, if you remain with me in today's video, you will understand everything. So guys, first of all, we say that when an animal is sick, try to isolate it. Uh, this thing has been common in people. You find that a man has got his or her animals. He or she identifies a certain disease. And you find that... He, a person is trying to treat in using wrong ways is treating a disease you know so guys we say that the moment you identify any disease the moment you come to know that your pig is sick or your animal is sick try to isolate it put it in the separate room then try to treat it from there so dear viewers then before you call a veterinary doctor, make sure that he, he or she finds that very animal in a separate room. So you know, these veterinary doctors of nowadays, they are after money. No one will tell you that you have to separate it maybe into uh, another room. So, dear viewers, try to separate, try to isolate an animal that is sick. Remove it from the health ones and put it in the separate room. Then treat it from there. So, dear viewers... Why do we say that sick animals die? You find that a person has identified the disease, has ignored it, has started you know, treating that very uh, sick animal in the health ones. And guys, remember when you are doing so, don't expect the sick animal to eat. How will it eat? It won't eat. It won't feed. You find that at the end of it all, it is dying. So how? You find that when an animal is sick, you have provided feeds. The other ones, you know, which are healthy, will take feeds. You find that the other one, which is weak generally, it has no capacity to take food. It is unable to take food. If it is take, it takes slowly, 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 then the health ones are taking at you know. So, dear viewers, we are saying that animals that are sick should not die if we use the best ways. Now it, it is in the room. So what are you going to do? Make sure that you do everything from there. Make sure that you feed your, your sick animal on a balanced diet. So, dear viewers, some of the things I hear from my friends, I'm asking myself, why is it like that? Yesterday, I visited the, a friend of mine. A friend of mine lost 60 pigs. The man never treated very well his animals. Uh, he told me that Isaac I identified this disease, and um, I tried my level best to treat it, but uh, this sick animal... Uh, I never separated it from the health ones. It remained there. I treated and uh, the disease finally spread in the whole pigs. The, the whole farm was uh, contracted. So, dear viewers, please, once you come to know that uh, you have a disease in animals, please separate that pig. Separate, isolate those pigs. Isolate the sick pigs. Put them in separate rooms. Then, guys, treat them from there. Feed them on a balanced diet. Feed them differently. Call a veterinary doctor. So once it is in the separate room, we don't expect the disease to spread first of all. Then we expect it to be fed very well. Remember that you will give it food. It will take time. You know, you will be seeing it 
we should not uh, at least you know hear this again that my sick animals are dying that what and what trust me as our channel name the moment you do that your sick animals will will get okay and you find yourself you're right? having your pigs till next time guys bye bye